Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt and I like video games. And in today's video I'll be going over the Xbox Series X blog post that was posted last Thursday, so stay tuned. So what do they mean when they say that a game is optimized for Xbox Series X? Well, you may have seen Xbox's blog post early Thursday morning where they go in depth on what it means for a game to be optimized for Xbox Series X. And I gotta say, I get more and more excited for this console by the freaking day. But if you haven't read this blog post, then don't worry about it because I'm here to sum it up for you in a nice quick video format. So let's get started. The article starts with some talk about how Xbox plans to always put gamers first with services like Game Pass as well as gaming on the go with xCloud. And to be honest, I wasn't too excited about xCloud when they announced it, but I gotta say the more and more I see of it, the more excited I get to try this thing out. But that's another topic for another video. This video is all about how Xbox will take full advantage of the hardware in the Series X to deliver a no compromises gaming experience. And they hint at this by saying that this console will empower developers to quote unquote create games that launch us into the future of gaming. That statement alone has me incredibly hyped for this console. I can't even begin to imagine what these developers will be able to do with the CPUs in these next generation consoles. There's going to be more physics and more things on the screen and it's all going to look better than it ever has before. The article goes on to say that when you see the optimized for Xbox Series X logo, you can rest assured that a game has been optimized to take full advantage of this console. Optimized for Xbox Series X can mean improved frame rates up to 120 FPS. It can mean 4K resolutions or high res textures. It can even mean hardware accelerated ray tracing. And that's an exciting bit of information for me because there's a few games from the end of this generation that got the ray tracing treatment on the RTX cards on PC. And to be able to see those games run with ray tracing on a nice big 4K television in my living room or my bedroom is going to be a sight to behold. Games like Metro Exodus, Battlefield 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and my personal favorite example of ray tracing, Control. A game that already looks incredible on current gen Xbox One X, but it's taken to a completely different level when you factor in that ray tracing. They also mentioned that optimized for Xbox Series X could possibly mean that in some cases a game was fully rebuilt to take advantage of the console's capabilities. And I'm excited to find out what they mean by this, because it's no small task to rebuild an entire game. And I can't imagine that they would mean that a game is fully remade, like something akin to Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3's remakes. But I'm definitely excited to see what they mean when they say that a game will be rebuilt. They also talked to Manuel Fernandez, who was the co-founder and programmer for the studio in charge of Call of the Sea, about how they plan to leverage DirectX ray tracing on the Xbox Series X. And he said that it gives them the chance to make the island feel more present and alive. And they plan to not only include ray tracing, but also support for native 4k visuals and this is just one small example of a studio taking full advantage of the xbox series x they have an entire section of the blog post dedicated to the importance of frame rates which is something that sony should definitely be reading into by the way talking about how the xbox series x will be able to deliver not just steadier frame rates but also higher frame rates they talk about their plans to make 4K 60fps the standard for gaming on Xbox Series X. And I've always fully expected their first party to target this level of performance, but it's exciting to speculate which third party developers will target 4K 60fps for their projects. Could you imagine games like Cyberpunk 2077 or Red Dead Redemption 2 running at 4K 60fps on your living room television? This generation is gonna be insane. They also mention that some games will have even lofty goals such as 120 fps which is still something that blows me away every time i hear it i mean gaming at 120 fps on a console will be insane they also talked to a developer from the codemaster studio about their new game dirt 5 and how it will take advantage of both a 60 fps mode and a 120 fps mode and if you've ever played a racing game then you know that the higher the frame rate the better the experience Take the 60fps mode on Forza Horizon 4 for the Xbox One X. It plays so smooth, and even at 1080p it looks damn good doing it. They also mentioned improved load times thanks to the SSD. Mike Rayner from the Coalition said that they were seeing load times 4 times faster on Gears 5, and this was without any changes to the game's code. 
They wrapped the blog post up nicely by mentioning the confirmed Xbox Series X optimized titles. The list mentions titles such as Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Bright Memory Infinite, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, FIFA 21, Gears 5, Halo Infinite, Madden 21, Marvel Avengers, Scarlet Nexus, Scorn, Second Extinction, which by the way I am hyped as hell for that game, the medium and plenty more that I have skipped over. But that's it for my coverage of this blog post. What do you guys think? What has you the most excited? Ray tracing, frame rates, visuals? Is it too hard to choose? Leave a comment and let me know. Like the video if you liked it and please subscribe if you would be so kind. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.